Uh, everyone knows that data is key to getting the best performance out of any car and we're here with Pierre from TechSense at PRI 2014. Now TechSense make a huge range of sensors for just about any parameter you may want to measure and their sensors are used in all forms of professional motorsport up to and including Formula One. But uh, we wanted to focus on just one product that we've seen here that caught our eye and Pierre that's your infrared tyre temperature sensor. Now let's start by uh, explaining what are the advantages of measuring tyre temperature in terms of tuning the, the chassis. Well tyre temperature it's a big deal uh, because if your tyre doesn't work so you don't get the performance out of your tyre starting from the grip uh, when you're turning if you don't have any grip you're losing time so when you know what your tyre is doing you will know your, your setup will be alright your suspension will be right set up you will have the the proper tire pressure and that will directly be affecting your tire temperature so if you're measuring your tire temperature you will know your chassis is well set up so faster. So in terms of that we're talking about both uh, tire pressure as well as also the camber so what we're trying to do effectively is get uh, the full width of the tire contacting the road when the car's loaded up hard in a corner that's going to give us uh, maximum grip from that tire correct? No that, that's correct. Now traditionally uh, that's being done with a, a, a tyre, a manual tyre pyro when the car comes back into the pits. Now of course that gives the tyre a lot of time to cool down on that inlap and uh, we're not really seeing the true uh, temperature of that tyre uh, when it's loaded up in a corner. So the infrared tyre temperature sensor, we get that data straight into the data logger and we can see what the tyre temperature is doing as the car's going around the track. Now, Talk, about, talk to us about uh, how we're getting that data in terms of how do you get the data for the tyre temperature across the width of the tyre. So basically we have different solutions. Let's say the, the most common solution would be to install three sensors per tyre, uh, which be one analog sensor, one spot, and you install three per tyre to get the inner, outer and outer temperature. So you will be able, able to see the temp temperature across, for example, the corner to make sure your camber is proper. Also, we developed new sensors, which is uh, an eight-channel tire temperature sensor. So basically, with one sensor, you can spread eight channel across the tire, and this one will be CAN-based. Okay, so typically those sensors you're talking about, when you've got a, an array of uh, three sensors per corner, those were sending that data via an analog voltage, and now you've gone to CAN, that's what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. When, you, when you're using like three, three sensors uh, per tire, which be analog, you send three analog uh, into your MoTeX system, or other brand uh, and when you're using the A channel that would be through CAN stream. Yeah. And yeah, so that's going to simplify first of all the, the installation because we're now only mounting one sensor per corner of the car and also sending that data via CAN. Obviously if you're using uh, three channels per corner that's 12 analog voltage inputs. It's going to chew up a huge number of channels so CAN simplifies all of that makes it easier to get that data into your logger. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, it's like easier to integrate because you have less wiring. The bracket is smaller, and if you have like smaller bracket, it's also lighter. So you're saving easy installation and actually weight into the car. Now, talking about price point, uh, doing it with three sensors versus your single CAN-based sensor, uh, is it cheaper to do it with one sensor or three? Well, if you're talking price point, that would be cheaper to go with the multi-channel uh, because it just makes sense. We try to make interest about the multi-channel, more data you get is not because you will pay more. So if you're talking about three times a single spot, you will be running at probably 1500 per corner, US dollar. Uh, when we have the multi-channel, the eight channel, we're running at probably 1600 for the eight channel. So that's definitely more cost effective. More data to, to, to look at, but more information and probably more cost effective as well. Now look, we're all about anything that's going to make it easier to get the cars going faster around the track. So thanks for giving us some insight into that product, Pierre. No problem, my pleasure. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.